Freedom Park is a memorial. It's also a monument that honors those who laid down their lives for freedom and humanity. It fulfills certain aspects. For example, at the end of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, one of the recommendations they made was the need for symbolic reparations to remember those who were sacrificed so that we can attain our freedom. It was also born out of a statement that the late President Mandela made in 1999 when he said, the day should not be far off when we shall have a people's shrine, a freedom park where we shall honor with all the dignity they deserve those who endured pain so that we can experience the joy of freedom. The Freedom Park is about history, but we also said linked to the history is our heritage because the struggle for freedom and humanity was also the struggle for the emancipation of the African voice. And therefore heritage, it's one of the legacies that we need to, to leave behind. It also talks about the issues of culture. If you look at the aesthetics and the design and the architecture, you'll realize that all our elements, our museum, Kapo, Skumbuto, and Mushate, and other, the gallery of leaders, all of them are conceptualized and designed from an African perspective. So it's not only about the content, it's also about the physical structures that everything here talks about culture and heritage. But also, if you look around, you'll also see spaces like Isivivan, which is a spiritual space. It's constructed in a way that integrates and includes all people of faith. My message to the youth is that if they want to be future leaders who are grounded, who can make an impact in the global world, they need to know who they are. They need to know where they come from. They also need to appreciate that the freedom that we are enjoying today was not free. Blood was shed, therefore they mustn't take this for granted. But they must know that they cannot compete with the world with the Europeans because there is the tendency to emulate the Europeans and the Americans if they are not grounded in their own culture, in their own heritage, because those people that they emulate are better because they are based, their activities and how they behave is influenced by their own culture and heritage. So they need to, to, to learn about the history, they need to appreciate heritage which tells them a sense of who they are in terms of their identity and develop a sense of pride and once they are there they will value and also develop the spirit of patriotism Come in, the elections was still 17 from 19.